Mystery solved. We now know what Gwyneth Paltrow whispered to her accuser as she walked out of court, the victor. Her exact words, I wish you well. Very kind of her. I said thank you, dear. The actress was vindicated after the jury ruled it was retired optometrist Terry Sanderson who crashed into Paltrow on a Utah ski slope in 2016. Was Gwyneth Paltrow at fault? No. What percent of the fault do you assign to Terry Sanderson? 100 percent. Paltrow appeared to breathe a sigh of relief and shared a smile with her attorney as 76-year-old Sanderson hanged his head. Now he has to pay up, giving Paltrow a symbolic one dollar as well as her legal fees. And those legal fees could add up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. This case has been going on for seven years, and Paltrow retained at least four attorneys and a battery of expert witnesses. So could Sanderson face financial ruin? The judge is the one who determines attorney's fees, not the jury. So he is going to decide whether or not the plaintiff bought this claim in bad faith. Then it's possible he could have a hefty lawyer bill to pay. We're pleased with this outcome and appreciate the judge and jury's thoughtful handling of this case. And and now we're hearing from one of the jurors. 31-year-old Samantha Emery was juror number 11. She tells GMA the images of Sanderson traveling the world after the accident really hurt his case. Did you go to Europe, visit Netherlands, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, France, Belgium? I wouldn't have thought he was capable of those things based on the picture that had been painted. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this trial is finished. So the eight-day trial that riveted America is over, and lots of folks are upset to see it go, says Variety senior editor Mark Malkin. The Gwyneth Paltrow ski trial was must-see television because this was the absolute epitome of privilege. And you have Gwyneth Paltrow on the stand. You can almost see her rolling her eyes like, I cannot believe I'm here. May I ask how tall you are? I'm just under 5'10". Okay. I am so jealous. This was a total guilty pleasure escapism for most people.